Hello everyone, and welcome to my next Let's Play. This is going to be the game where I delve into the Legend of Zelda series. And this here is of my very first Zelda game, believe it or not. Oh, that shot is infamous on the Game Boy Color back of the box. Your back of the box is a Game Boy Color. And... Hey, who's that? We're on a sandy beach. Huh? Wait, is that a Link? Uh-oh. He looks unconscious. Oops. They're unconscious. Wake up, Link! Come on! Wake up! You gotta let a little storm knock you out? Oh well. Anyway, that looks like a giant Yoshi egg, if I ever saw one. And I have seen the Yoshi eggs. Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX! The DX just means that it's the color version. And now... Uh, that's my practice file, I'll be ignoring that. So, on to creating a file. Oops. Ah, don't. No, nah, I'm messing up making my own name. That's how bad you can mess up. Jeez. Oh yeah, and before I even get into the game, you'll see that there's a number 5 on this file. That's how many times I've died on it. This here is going to be a no-death run. But I will be collecting every single item in the game. So, hope you guys enjoy. Hey, where are we? We're in a house? Hey, that guy looks like Mario! Uh, hello. Rise and shine, Link. Why are leaf? I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You're on Gahulant Island. Huh, Gahulant Island, huh? Now, uh, Link, you wanna get out of the bed? Oh wait, I have to push the button. Okay, so let's see. Follow the lane south to reach the back. The there. I sent up my words again. To the beach where I found you. Since you washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area. So be careful, okay? Wait, was Link carrying monsters on his ship? Or were they already there? Hmm, that's curious. Whoa, Omega. Uh, okay, this is weird. I'm talking to his back. That or he's- or the guy's trying to break the fourth wall. Well, Omega, he finally snapped out of it. Name's Taryn. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of this shield. And it looks like I'm standing on him. <laughs> you got your shield back. Press the button and repel enemies with it. So yeah. Uh, just a quick little tour of the pause menu. If you push B and A, you can assign your weapons to the appropriate button. So, right now all we have is a shield and eight glowing boxes and three hearts. But we'll be getting more stuff eventually. Hey, what are you doing in my chest? Where'd you learn to do such a thing? Well, sorry, I thought it was a dresser. Uh... Follow the lanes south to reach the beach where I found you. Oh yeah, I already talked to you. And, uh, yeah, it kind of scrolls a bit slowly and... Here's a pot! Wow, this looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. Nope, you won't. And whenever you encounter one of these once per screen, it'll show that message. It'll also happen for rocks as well. Hey, here's a cuckoo. And here's how the shield works. If it if you're near an enemy or anything that can hurt you, it'll bounce you away. Although there is one creature to the screen to the left, but I'm not going there just this moment. That repels you but can't hurt you. Oh hey, here's a dog. Grrr. He can hurt you. 
Here sleeps the flying rooster. I didn't know roosters could fly. Hey, this pedestal here looks like a GameCube. <laughs> didn't notice that before. And, oh yeah. One thing that I'd like to mention here is that... Oh, don't touch these rocks, we'll get that tech, that message again. Is that I've never really beaten this game yet. I'm, I mean, on the... The, uh, the actual game itself, I'm still at right before the final boss, so, yeah. <laughs> I actually wanted to get my first impressions of that in this LP, but we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> we're just in the beginning, we're not even five minutes in, I think. Actually, I think we're probably only six minutes in, but whatever. Hey man, when you want to save, just push all the buttons at once. Uh, don't ask me what that means, I'm just a kid. Okay, well, here's what he means. If you push down A, B, start, and select... Uh, okay, I did it wrong. There we go. If you push down all four buttons at the same time, you'll get this brick wall with a piece of paper on it saying return to game or save and quit. If you want to save, just go to this and it'll quit your progress after saving and yeah. Saving can actually be a bit of a nice little shortcut, but I'm gonna return to the game. Oop, just barely dodged that thing. And if I had my a certain item that I'll be picking up, this would be the other screenshot from the back of the box for the Game Boy Color. And originally, I thought that this screen was the only screen in the entire game, and you'd have to find out some way to escape, but... There's clearly foundries right here, and this little ledge that you can jump down from. I'm not gonna jump from it right this second. I wanna go inside this house. Huh. This floor looks kind of scaly, now that I think about it. And hey look, a mother and her child, and a guy who looks like Mickey Mouse. Yep, those are my boys. I'm Paul, pleased to meet ya. I'll be lost in the hills later, so take... Keep a yeah. I keep stumbling on my words. So keep a lookout for me here. Wow, I didn't. In all the years that I've been playing this game, I never realized that he actually said that. He openly admits that he's going to be lost later on in the game. Jeez. Because they all look alike, even I'm sometimes confused. By the way, my baby wants a Yoshi doll. I saw one at the Trendy Game, but I couldn't get it. Er, couldn't get it. I almost thought she said get in. And now here's jumping! And here's the shop. You can buy items. 10 rupees gets you 3 recovery hearts. 20 rupees gets you a shield, but why would I want one? Because I already have one. Why, why can't I pull out my shield? Well, you can see it right here, at the bottom left corner. And t for 200 rupees, you get this shovel. But trust me, this shovel is going to be important later on, or actually sooner than you think. But just not this moment, because <laughs> I still have to get some stuff done. Hey, welcome. See something you like? Just bring it here. Yeah, but I can't buy anything, because I don't have any rupees. Rupees... Since this is my first Zelda LP, and for those who have yet to play the Legend of Zelda game, rupees are the currency of this game of the series. East of Yukuku Prairie, farther east, Animal Village. So yeah, you'll want to grab a ton of rupees. Oh, on this screen, it's one of my favorite screens in the game. Considering it was the very first one that a friend of mine showed me when he when my friend played it on on his Game Boy Color. Well, it seems that after you save, you'll start at the last door you went through. I'm not really sure why that is, because I'm just a kid. Yeah, and this here, even though it says shop on the roof, it's actually the trendy game. But I can't get through here because I can't walk over these bushes. But then again, if you wanted to walk over a bush in real life, that would be pretty tricky. And here's something that seems kind of out of place in a Zelda game. 
a telephone. Seriously, this, this series is set in a medieval time, and yet they put in a telephone, which is modern technology. Kinda inconsistent with the franchise, don't you think? Bring, bring. Hello, it's me, Alryra. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. Bye! <laughs> yeah, he's pretty much like a help guide. He'll give you hints throughout the game as you progress. So if you ever forget what you need to do, you can just go to one of these phone houses. I'm gonna go check the chest. Wow, this is a nice chest. Even though it looks nothing like a treasure chest, it looks more like a dresser, if you ask me. Um, oh, and here's, uh, I think Grandma Aurora? That might be her name, I'm not sure. Yahoo! I'm fine, and you? Uh, I'm doing well. This here's Grandpa Aurora. Can't even say his name right. You know, this is the telephone guy's house. I'll just call him that. The telephone guy. <laughs> So, and now here's a tiny Tom! Yeah, this game is full of Mario references. This Chain Chomp, you can deflect him with your shield, but he can't hurt you. I don't know why. But he does play a, an important role later on in the game. Actually, kind of sooner than I think. But just not quite yet. And here's Fisherman. And this guy has, is probably part owl, because he just turned his head completely backwards. How about some fish in the little body? I'll only charge you ten rupees. Uh, not now. I don't have any rupees. You have to have more passion. Live a little. Hey, that's the entire point of this LP, is to live and not die. Um, uh, because there's a... Well, okay, I'm not going to go into detail on why I don't want Blink to die in this. I got two of those I want it all. It's a new accessories would be nice. This is apparently a girl chain chomp, or chain chomp what, since it's so small. Compared to this guy, who just leaps out at you as soon as you exit the door. And this is the owner of the chain chomp woods. Let's see what this one says. Yip yip, yip yip. That one doesn't know how to talk yet. Ho ho ho, my Bella is so proud of this fine fur coat. That must be the blue pixels on him. See? That must be his fur, either that or the dark shade stuff. Oh, uh, well, well, well. What do we have here? A wishing well. Or some sort of well. Well, we'll find out what that well contains later on. Now, shall we? Mysterious forest. It's a little bit mysterious. <laughs> Uh, this game has a lot of charm in it, with such <laughs> jokes like that. I love it. And here's a couple of kids playing ball. Er, playing catch. I heard that you can press the like to look at the island map, but I don't understand what, that, what they mean by that. This is what they mean. As you can see, the map is... well... All these dark spots on the map are areas we have yet to explore, and the colored in areas are places we've been to. And it'll pretty much give advice on what to the importance of certain areas. And I'm guessing that this little Yoshi egg colored dot here is supposed to represent me. Village Library. Okay, what's the... the other kids say, when you're running out of parts, you better enter a house or cave. Why? I have no idea. I'm just a kid. And here's something that I don't think many people notice, but look at the colors of their shirts. Mario and Luigi. <laughs> but that's probably just a coincidence. Oh yeah, this house here is a library. I'm not gonna bother with it right now, because it talks about stuff that's not relevant at the moment. Tail cave to the right. Torumbo Shores down south. I don't know why, but I always like reading that that, that the word Torumbo with an accent. Be sure to have your shield up at this point, because now here's the first enemies, Octorox. They pretty much win the perfect attendance award for being in every game of the series. Now then, that's their attack, shooting rocks at you. 
hence the name Octorok.